What is going on my reigning defending fan male champions of the world? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my favorite day of the week. It's Fan Mail Friday and uh, it's your girl Luge here. We got some envelopes from you champions. So let's check it out. First one up comes from J Paul and it comes from Michigan. Hello friend. I don't know why I read this as hello darkness my old friend. <laughs> you are fun. You are funny. You are sweet. You are cool from Jay and Jasmine. Yo, thank you for the card. I also read this as you is kind, you is smart, you is important. I don't know if you guys saw that movie, but <laughs> it reminded me of that. So awesome card. Thank you for the memories and the nostalgia from sending me this card. You rock, Jay Paul. Next one up comes from my home girl from Brooklyn, Alicia. Dear Luge, Raw and Smackdown Live was crazy this week, but it is wrong because Seth Rollins was got really hurt from Brock Lesnar. Yo, Brock Lesnar, he just comes out, he throws chairs at people, he just destroys people. And that whole bit with like the ambulance and stuff, like that was kind of scary how he just threw him out of the ambulance on the stretcher and like that could have been like that could have gone horribly wrong. Like he he's a beast. He he is totally scary every time he attacks, you know, Seth Rollins or like anybody that he attacks. It's just crazy. Also, Roman had a very shocking moment when those things came crashing down on him backstage on SmackDown Live. Yeah, so like, what was, he was supposed to come out and announce like who he was gonna face for SummerSlam. And then he was supposed to have the interview and then like the, the set like backstage just like fell on him. Um, so he never told us. And by the way, I'm filming this early in the week because um, I'm actually gonna be out in Ohio. So I'm filming this earlier in the week. It's actually Monday. So I don't know who Roman Reigns opponent is. I'm guessing Samoa Joe or, or Braun Strowman because he's known to throw equipment <laughs> at people. So, but I'm sure you already know by the time this video goes up. <laughs> I saw the video of Roman Reigns where the people were laughing between Facebook and YouTube comments. Plus, when you saw what happened to Roman, I almost feel that you were laughing or smiling, in which I don't think that that was very nice of you, Luge. I'm very sorry, Luge. I honestly feel bad for Roman and scared for Roman Reigns. So maybe the reason why you, I might have came off like I was laughing or smiling is because it felt a little bit staged um, between like the camera shots and then the camera on the floor. So yes, I love Roman Reigns. I care if he gets hurt, but it just felt and looked totally staged. So. Is probably why I was like confused at what was happening. Plus, I was like, where is Braun Strowman? Because he's usually one that throws the equipment. Um, although it could have been Samoa Joe, like also could have been. Um, but yeah, it just looked <laughs> it looked really staged to me. So uh, Roman Reigns was definitely not hurt. Um, you know, he stars in movies, they have props that fall on them, but he's definitely okay. And also, I did an interview with Roman Reigns on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys checked it out. He's gonna be the cover superstar for WWE 2K20. He's sharing the cover with Becky Lynch, the man, the big dog and the man. Totally cool. But yeah, no, I wasn't laughing at, at Roman. I definitely don't like to see people, you know, get hurt. So that's, uh, yeah, don't, don't be mad at me. <laughs> don't be mad, girl. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends, girl. I thought we were friends. Don't be mad, girl. Next one up comes from my Alaskan fan mail champion, Mikael. Dear Luge, I was not surprised about Bray Wyatt's new gimmick, The Fiend. That is until he was really creepy and honestly, I really dig it now. <laughs> yeah, so Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt's gonna have a fight against Finn Balor this weekend at SummerSlam. But yeah, him coming out, um, he did like the, the Sacco thing to, to Mick Foley and he came out into interrupting um, Finn Balor. He creepy, man. They zoom up on his face and like, The Fiend is scary super scary and you dig it i dig it let me know champs if y'all dig the fiend and uh what you think is going to happen at SummerSlam between finn balor and bray wyatt the fiend next one up and last one up comes from evelyn and it comes from indiana dear luge you are one of my favorite youtubers no doubt i follow a lot of wwe youtubers and i enjoy their content as well cool me too luge i had a question what do you think is going to happen at SummerSlam? I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, hold on, let me actually just look up the matches real quick and I'll just give you a rundown of who I think is gonna win. Okay, here we go, here we go. By the way, this is Monday, so that um, I don't know like who Roman Reigns is gonna face yet. I'm guessing Samoa Joe, but we'll see. So we have the Universal Championship Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. I really want 
Seth Rollins to win. He's done it once. Who's to say he can't do it twice? So I'm going with Seth Rollins. Then we have Kofi Kingston versus Randy Orton. Yo, I don't know. Like Randy Orton, I love you Randy Orton. You're awesome, you're cool. Kofi Kingston, man, you've been riding that wave. You've been riding that wave. I don't know, is Randy Orton gonna be the man to stop it though? I feel like it's SummerSlam, like titles need to change hands. And uh, so I'm saying Seth Rollins is gonna win the Universal. I'm gonna say Randy Orton's gonna win the WWE Championship. I could be wrong, don't be mad at me. I love you Kofi, I love you. Uh, AJ Styles versus Ricochet. Let's see. Ricochet. Let's, I'm just going against whoever has a title, I'm going against you. Except for Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is winning. And Bailey. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Becky Lynch versus Natalia. It's a submission match. Um, Becky Lynch got to disarm her. And Natalia's got the sharpshooter. It's going to be a good match. It's going to be a good match. Bailey and Ember Moon. I'm excited for both of them to excel. And Ember Moon on the big stage. Finally! Finally, um, I'm definitely excited for that. I'm not gonna pick who I want winning because I'm just happy for that match to happen. Charlotte versus Trish. Um, I feel like it's gonna be kind of like a passing of the torch kind of match for Trish Stratus to, to just hand it to Charlotte. So that's why I'm gonna go with Charlotte for that one. But I do wanna see some Stratus faction. And it is in Trish Stratus' hometown of Toronto. So should make things interesting. Should be interesting. Uh, Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon. If Owens loses, he quits. Ah, uh, I don't know. I hope, uh, Mr. Miz comes out. Daddy Miz comes out and, uh, and helps Kevin Owens. I think that'd be really cool. And then Bray Wyatt's The Fiend versus Finn Balor. I feel like this Bray Wyatt's The Fiend's debut. Um, I feel like he's gotta win. He's gotta win. But that might set it up for maybe, like, I don't know, Finn Balor, Demon versus The Fiend or something. We'll see. Uh, The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler. I don't know! These guys have had awesome rivalries in the past, these two. So I expect this to be a really good match. And then Sami Zayn versus Aleister Black. I don't know, it's gonna be a good match. Aleister Black getting a match at SummerSlam. Very cool. And then Roman Reigns versus uh, whoever he's gonna face. I don't know who it's gonna be yet. I'm um, guessing Samoa Joe. But you really don't know. Don't know what WWE is going to have up their sleeve. And then there are Shinsuke versus Ali. Um, let's go with Ali. Let's go with Ali. And then Raw Tag Team. The uh, the club or the OC. Versus the Usos. The OCs. I mean no, the Usos. <laughs> the Usos. I'm going with the Usos. So yeah, Evelyn, thank you so much for that question. By the way, I'm probably wrong in all of <laughs> my uh, predictions and that's okay. And I'll probably change them before Sunday. So that'll happen. But I will see you guys on the channel. If you guys want to hang out, we're definitely going to have the live stream on Sunday for, for SummerSlam. I don't know how long or we'll be live for because I've got a little baby, a little baby daughter. She's four months old and uh, she needs her mama. She's now at that phase where she, she wants attention. And um, she wants to be played with and talked to and held and sang to. And like, I'm all about that. So little girl need her mama. So we'll see how long I'll be live for. But it'll be, it will be live this week, um, maybe an hour or two. So that will happen. But Evelyn, thank you again so much for the letter. Thank you champs so much for making fan mail Friday. The best day of the week you champs always do. If you want to send anything, my PO box is listed down below in the description. If you can't send anything, don't worry about it. Leave a comment down below in this video and I'll be in and out of the comments section for about an hour or so after this video is up and live. Trying to answer you back and say hello. But anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic Friday and a glorious weekend. I will see you on Sunday. Sunday fun day is a thing. WWE SummerSlam in Toronto will be doing a live stream. It's probably gonna be like 20 hours long, so get ready. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me leave me some of your predictions down below. And like I said, please don't be mad at me of my predictions. Like, just let me know who you want to win or who you think is gonna win. Because who you want to win and who you think is gonna win could be two totally different things. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to drop an elbow on that subscribe button and that like button for future videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, champs.